Hello, my name is Travis Monk. This is one of a series of videos involving genetics. This video will focus on different types of genetic mutations. The machinery involved in DNA replication is very accurate. Mistakes are made very infrequently. Mutations can result when errors are made and can cause all sorts of different disorders, from albinism that might be passed on to your children and to different forms of cancers that might affect you. There are many different causes of these mutations, different chemicals, viruses, and as the image on this slide shows, even ultraviolet light that can damage your DNA, leading to skin cancers such as melanomas. The way that mutations are made, different classifications of errors, and the potential impact will be the focus of this video. Before any cell divides through mitosis or meiosis, it needs to copy its DNA. Your DNA is about 2 billion bases in length, so the process takes quite some time. Your cell machinery is very good at what it does, but it still makes mistakes from time to time. Complementary base pairing helps reduce these errors, as do numerous proteins involved in the process, but errors still occur. About one in every 30 million letter contains some sort of error. The picture on the right shows an example of such a mistake. Instead of a T being complemented by an A, as it should, a C sits in that place. There are many different classifications of mutations based upon what changes in a DNA sequence. In all of the examples on this slide, I will use a DNA sequence GAGA, -A, as highlighted here, as the normal sequence to be compared to. In a deletion mutation, anywhere from one to numerous bases are not copied properly. That is, they are left out. Instead of the normal GAGA -GA sequence, the deletion sequence is GA. Notice that there is a GA that's missing in this particular sequence because it was not properly copied. In an insertion mutation, a segment of DNA is copied two or more times. Instead of the typical GA, GA sequence, you find GA, GA, GA. Note that the chunk of the DNA sequence, GA, is listed three times instead of twice, as it was in the original sequence. The original letters here are shown in purple. With an inversion mutation, a chunk of DNA is flipped upside down, hence the name inversion. Note that instead of the expected sequence, GA, GA, that the complementary base pairs are shown, and the order is reversed. Substitution mutations replace, or substitute, one or more letters of the original DNA sequence. In this depiction, the sequence changes from GA, GA to GG, GA. Note that the first letter of this typical sequence has been changed into a G. The previous slide showed the different types of mutations using letters. This slide shows what these can look like on chromosomes themselves and might be helpful to gain a better understanding of what occurs in these different types of mutations. Other than the classifications that were mentioned on the previous slide, there are other ways to describe the effects that different mutations can have. Point mutations, highlighted at the top of this slide, affect only a single base in DNA. All of the types of mutations listed below can be point mutations. In addition, many examples of mutations from the previous slide, deletion mutations, insertion mutations, and substitution mutations, can also be point mutations. The key factor, again, is that only one letter of DNA, one base, is affected. Silent mutations, highlighted here, are named quite appropriately. They are silent because the effects cannot be heard, so to speak. While there is a change in the genetic code, the amino acid that's produced is the exact same. This is possible because of the redundancy in the genetic code. Note that the box sequence GTA changes to GTT. Both amino acids that are produced, however, are valine. A missense mutation is a particular type of substitution mutation. When this type of mutation occurs, the amino acid produced is changed from one to another. When CCC, which is normally produced as proline, is changed to ACC, which produces threonine, the protein that is produced is changed by only one amino acid. Finally, there is a classification of mutation that can result from insertion or deletion mutations that's called a frame shift mutation. In frame shift mutations, inserting or removing bases that are not in a multiple of three throws off the manner in which codons are read. Another type of substitution mutation is called a nonsense mutation. Instead of producing a different amino acid, when a nonsense mutation occurs, a stop codon is coded for. This premature stop of a protein can be caused by just a single letter, from TAC to TAG, for example, 
it is much more likely to have a substantial impact on the protein that's being produced, especially if it occurs early in the coding for that particular protein. In this particular example, two letters from the original DNA sequence were removed, a T and an A boxed in this slide. What would occur, now boxed in this picture, is that every amino acid that follows this type of mutation would be changed. The frame in which DNA is read is shifted, hence the name frame shift. If you were to remove or add any multiple of three letters, three, six, nine, or 12, for example, then you would not have a frame shift mutation. One, two, three, or four amino acids being left out would not qualify as this type of mutation. Since everything after this mutation is changed in a manner that's similar to missense mutations, this type of mutation can have a large impact on the protein that's being produced. Note, if only one letter were affected in this example, it would qualify as a point, deletion, and frame shift mutation. That is the end of this video summarizing different types of genetic mutations. If you're interested in learning more about any other topics relating to genetics or any other themes of biology, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.